In this video, I'm going to be going over how to use the librarian to manage and organize your Juno G patches. And before we use the librarian, there's a couple of system parameters that we need to set. So let's go to Menu, we'll go to System, press Enter, and then go to MIDI, and go to MIDI TX. And make sure that MIDI Transmit Edit Data is set to on and press right. And now we're ready to open up the Juno G's internal user memory with the librarian. And to do that we're going to go to USB and we're going to select USB MIDI. So make sure that's set. If you've selected USB storage, make sure you've selected USB MIDI. Launch the Juno G librarian. So let's double click on that and the librarian will open. And we need to check and make sure that our MIDI devices are set up. And so our input should be set to Juno G, output to Juno G, and then the second output to Juno G. And we can click OK to close that. And next make sure that you are selected on patch as the mode. Let's go to read, and we'll click OK. And now the librarian will scan the Juno G's internal memory and I'll grab the name and all the data of the internal user patches. Alright, once the Juno G has finished scanning the internal patches, we'll see that list on the main menu. Then next, let's open up the file that we want to take that contains the patches that we want to import into the Juno G. In this case, I'm going to go to my desktop and go to the Sign Vibes Planet Pack. And I'll choose Planet F and go to Juno G. And choose the file Planet F. And now a new window will open containing the patches that are part of the Sign Vibes Planet F collection. So I'm going to resize the window so we can see both the main window. So the menu on the the window on the left is the Juno G's internal memory, and then the right is our window for our Planet F patches. So the way the librarian works is if we want to take and let's say copy just a single patch over to the librarian, we select that, choose copy. Go to our patch list, in this case I'll go to number 10, and simply click Replace. And this is helpful if you want to take and just manage and organize or switch the location of specific patches within a list. But let's say I want to take and I want to, let's say I want to import all the patches in the Planet F collection. I'll highlight them, go to Copy, select the location in the, in the list, and choose Insert. And you'll notice all my patches have now been copied from the Planet F patch collection to the Juno G's internal memory. So our next step is to write the new patches to the Juno G's internal memory. And we do that by selecting Write, clicking All, and OK. And now the patch data will write to the Juno G's internal memory. Once our patches have finished copying over to the internal memory, we can select Quit and close out of the librarian. And we're done. Go to Patch, switch to User, and you'll see your new patches in the user bank. 